Right, all right, all right. Let's go, guys. It's a quarterfinals match here uh, between Max Pax in the top left, represents Sci Storm Gaming, and his opponent, who's just joined the newly merged, not formed, but merged team. Guys, a lot of people have said, what happens when you take a dragon a phoenix together and you breed them with a Kaizi? Apparently, the phoenix disappears. So, Dragon Phoenix Gaming and Kaizi Gaming have merged. It's now Dragon Kaizi Gaming. I still don't know what a Kaizi is, but I'm down with it hero in the bottom right side uh one of the most dynamic protoss players in the world against the best dark templar user in the world max Bex. you know what's funny hero has been out dark templaring him lately in the weekly cops but they go back and forth where you might get the better of him once and then max Bex makes an adjustment and does amazing amazing play and they're both really clever with their tech switches in this matchup and when they're playing lesser protoss players they look like they're just out of their league on another level Max Bex, though, did have a slightly upsetting loss first for Jumi last week, which was a huge upset for Jumi. Massive underdog in that matchup, but it's PvP, and I think for Jumi is actually underrated as a player, so we'll keep our eyes on how it goes. Max Bex is the master of the one gate expand, and he goes straight for it. It did not get blocked, so Hero kind of messed up there. If Max Bex can block his Nexus as well, then that's really good because he gets his Nexus far ahead, but it's also really bad because then... You're committing money to a greedy expand and to block his base. And guess what? By letting him take the base and seeing him not take it, instead you can go, hey, whoa, 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 whoa. What are you up to and why aren't you putting that Nexus down? And we see why. Because Hero wants to build shield batteries in his base. Max Bax already walls off one side with a shield battery. Hero's going to chrono an adept across. He's got the zealot about to arrive. Remember, Max Bax skipped the zealot. But he does lose his probe, does Hero. Hero gets a few shield batteries in here. Are we going to see the wall off? Doesn't look like it. The Stargate goes down in the face of this. Now the Adept is here, but Max Bax has the earlier shield battery. Oh, good probe pullbacks as well. But the problem is if you chase those probes away, that means the Adept can get into the base. Oh, the Adept's going to come in behind this. Here we go. Zealot's getting in that mineral line. Here comes the Adept though. It's got a shield battery nearby. Those probes need to get healing. Otherwise, they're in trubs. Oh, Max Pack's a little bit slow to react. Remember, he looked a little slow in his game one earlier today versus Ragnarok. Even though he ended up on top in that series. And now he loses two probes unnecessarily. As delayed as the Nexus is, it is still coming down. But, I don't know, man. Committing to two shield batteries and a pylon. It feels like Hero still needs more damage. Does he commit to that shade? Surely he cancels. Oh, Hero, you mad dog. He's going to dive. I, I don't know if this is going to pay off. He's got two. Oh, I think. Okay, he desyncs his shots, though. That's a mistake. He's got to sync up those shots to make sure they get through the shield battery healing. He gets five workers. I take back anything I said about that being a mistake. That looks rather lovely. Max Bex has got to make a lot of probes, but he's also got to get that Oracle across the map to counterattack. This Adept can just hang out here, healing off these batteries, being very annoying. He's tied up the worker count. His own Nexus is finished, and they're at very similar workers. The problem is, of course, you've got oh, nothing that shoots up, and there's an Oracle coming out of the map. But the Adepts go a bit too deep here. Oracle's going to try and punish. Max Pax accidentally messes up his micro just a little bit, misses a few attacks. And his Adepts are definitely not attacking as much as they could be here. He's going to lose two more workers there. Three more workers. Wow. Okay, Hero takes the worker lead. He's even going to get a fourth. You're kidding me. I think Max Pax there showing not as crisp micro as we are used to from him. And I think this sort of opening in a series, I mean, it, it, it's, it's going to make most players have a certain response. This game is stupid. And that's no doubt what he was feeling, losing 11 probes in a situation where normally he'd only lose two or three. Oh no! Oh no! Oh! And he flies his oracle into the stalkers! What the hell? Oh, I think he's map hacking. I, I mean, I think that's a little bit of a stretch there, Max Bax. Our live report is on the ground with him getting his thoughts, and you can tell he's not happy about this turn of events, guys. I don't think that was map hacking. I'm pretty sure the pylons and the battery saw the oracle pop out and head in that direction. I, I, I think that's a bit of a stretch, mate. Hero, on the other hand, staying calm and focused. Uh, looks like our report is saying we're having mic issues on his end, not able to get his live uh, thoughts on the match the way we are with Max Bax. But Max Bax definitely, I think, on the worst end of this so far even though the worker count's safe you can already see that there's going to be a blink counter attack materializing in the next few minutes the twilight though is quite delayed but hero is ahead on the tech now these shield batteries giving wonderful scouting info for hero max Pack's sending a probe forward right now the oracle is tagging things and these two adepts that's going to be nasty dt shrine goes down behind it if these adepts see this dt shrine that is going to be legendary Hero's coming in right now. Nothing there to block. Oh, no. Max Pax just went past and scouted the proxy gate, by the way. But 
Look at that. He comes right in. Oh, he sees it. He sees the Dark Shrine. I don't know if he fully noticed that, but I mean, it's Hero. I'm pretty sure he did. Oh, he targets a guy going into the gas. So he's actually missed a few kills there. He only ends up getting two so far. But is he done yet? The probes actually split those Adepts up rather nicely. So far, only two, three probes go down, and the fourth one, even more probes falling. Max Max down nine workers. Oh god, wait, 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 did he not? He didn't notice! He didn't notice, guys, he's not building detection! He's not building detection! Oh, oh, oh god, oh god. Hero might have just barely glimpsed it, because remember, he only barely glimpsed it. He saw the DT shrine, but he might have just thought it was a pylon. He definitely didn't get time to click on it. If you look closely, you can tell that that's a Dark Templar shape. I know that that's not a pylon shape. I, I can't describe the exact details, but I know from playing thousands and thousands of games and casting thousands that that is that, if I stare at it. Hero did not stare at it. He was busy microing, he did not pay attention, and that is a big problem for him. He's making a robo behind this. The DT is gonna defend. You know what, showing the DT on the defense. Oh, he's warping on the other side as well. Is he going to be able to get it in? The DT is warping in there. He's got two Adepts coming in from the right side. Max Max holds on for now. He's going to want to take a third base behind this. There is a probe randomly zapping another probe on the map. This game's getting messy. It's getting dicey. Only five Stalkers for Max Max. Hero on the warpath gets the Oracle. He's going to jump on into that main base. The DT is desperately trying to chase him there. The wall off keeping the DTs outside of the base on the other side. So Max Max is not really getting any damage done there. The DTs may chase these Stalkers away for now. But if Hero can take a third base, he's going to be in a good position. The Observer is now getting Chrono boosted out. I told you guys, the battle between these two is the battle of the Dark Templar gods. They both have a special part of their brain that at all points, no matter how chaotic the matchup is, is thinking, is now the right time to go Dark Templar? They are the best Dark Templar users in StarCraft. Oh, great recall. Saves that DT. Keeps it alive. Uh, but as I said, best Dark Templar users in StarCraft 2 out of all the Protoss players. Um... But when they're playing against each other, it gets kind of weird because they're, they're both very good at recognizing when the other's going to go Dark Templar as well. And Hero with the wall off, I mean, he's delayed his third and that feels problematic because he's got Mass Stalker. That's that's the real problem. The real problem is for Max Pax. I mean, look at this. The DT goes down, can't even depower it. And he just knows he can't move out. So Max Pax says, well, I'm dead if I move out and he's going to take a third and I can't. So there's only one solution. Corner base, bitches. And that is the genius move. I, I still think he dies, though. There's too many Stalkers. It's such a smart move because it was the only way to get an expansion. He needs to fight with probes. The Stalkers pulling back the battery, doing what it can. He does actually hold on for now. He gets quite a few Stalkers. Seven for only losing four of his own in total this game. He's got a DT working on that third base, but the Stalker warping with the Observer will respond to it. I mean, Max Max is surviving, and he's getting his corner base up actually even quicker. This is the only way you, you, you survive in this game as Max Max. The only comeback play is sneaking an expansion by him because Hero has such a big mobility advantage. And you're like making Immortals, making Stalkers, trying to equalize those unit counts, close that gap in army supply. But you know what? Hero is a bit of a genius and he might realize that Nexus is right there. He's going to come down here to clean up the pylon. We'll see if he ever checks for it. It's so rare you see corner bases and you should never do it by default but do it reactively. And if you do it reactively in the correct scenario like Max Max has, you're taking yourself from a very, like maybe let's say he had a 3% win chance. Now he's at like 10%. You know, a lot of things still need to go right, but it's decisions like that that really make sense. And, and Hero, he's like, oh, I've got a third. You don't. I'm going to transfer probes. Be way ahead. Max Max is going to recall probes to that corner in a moment. He already should be recalling maybe 12 probes. Yep, there we go. So he stacks up. Wow, that's exactly 12 probes. Very nice, but he, he doesn't do it. Oh, oh, he's busy. He's busy. Oh, recall was actually not cooled down yet. That's why. Stalkers are fighting at the front, guys. He lost his immortal out here. Apologies for not catching that. He did lose his immortal. DTs keep trying to poke in, but there's a stalker and an observer defending it. Max Pack's trying to poke out to act like he's doing things. He only recalled eight probes. Oh, no. He should have recalled a lot more there. But he's so busy at the front that he didn't recall as many as he could. You can see his natural's quite oversaturated. If that was full of minerals, it'd be much better for him. Now, we're going to see mass blink for Max Max with slightly faster upgrades versus what is now a charge transition of 35 blink stalkers. Hero has 35 versus 24. That immortal is going to get shot down pretty easy. I like the way he focus fires on random stalkers of Max Max, so it's really hard to dodge. Max Max chases, gets a few of them, but oh man, you see how quickly these immortals fall? And he's trying to blink back, but the problem is when you get to this stalk account, concave matters more than shield battery healing, and even with the shield battery in the back that he can like top up his shields at, it's not enough. Now the DT keeps poking in for Max Max, finding that the stalkers are there, and you know what's amazing? It's stopping Hero from F2-ing. Hero loves to F2. 
He comes in, cancels a third base. Now, Max Pax is trying to sell the story of desperation to secure a third. He's really trying to sell this story so that Hero doesn't look down here. It's very smart. The question is, once Zealots and Archons come in, can you really deal with that with just Stalkers? Because I feel like Stalkers just aren't good enough stats-wise. And that's a big issue. Now, the Observer of Hero does see this DT here. That DT on the right side as well. Max Pax is so good at keeping those DTs alive. Hero is miles ahead in this game, positionally, but he's actually very close in supply, and that's what's weird. Max Max is actually up six workers right now, and the income is not too different between the two. This third base here, you know, Hero is like, oh, I'm so far ahead. Oh, 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 he went to clean up the Dark Templar and almost finds the Nexus. Oh, Oh, no, 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 Max Max, he's put his Nexus on a key. Don't do that. No, 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 don't, 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 accidentally rally probes. Max Max has made a huge mistake. He's put that Nexus on his, all, all of his Nexus hotkeys. He realizes, he realizes he rallies it back. Take that off your Nexus hotkey right now, mate. That is something you do not accidentally rally probes back. You give that away. You take your 10% chance of winning this game back down to zero. Oh man, he's got a micro like a beast. He's got more blink stalkers now, but there's 14 zealots, two archons into the mortal. He's trapped outside his wall. Oh my god, hero coming in with the righteous fury of a Protoss player that has now added a massive charge lots to their comp. And he doesn't need to break the ramp. He can just isolate this base. The DT's warping in. Max Pax trying to keep backstabbing with Dark Templar. I think he feels well. Hero probably F2'd to the front. Probably didn't leave any observers or units at home. And he's actually correct. Of course he's correct. It's Hero, guys. <laughs> the moment Hero hunted those two DTs down, he did F2. Max Pax is going to try and abuse it, but there's no probes on that fourth just yet. And I feel like Max Pax needed to go Disruptors in this scenario because Disruptors are so good when you're turtling like this and, and, and you've got that hidden base. He's, he's doing it now. Single Robo Disruptor going to start up. DT gets some damage, but he's lost another 10 probes. And Units Lost Tab tells us the story of Hero Dominance. Uh, Hero's got the fourth up. He's not really building much economy. And I would criticize it if it wasn't for the fact that he's been so utterly dominant in this game. And he realizes that a contained Protoss is a dead Protoss. I mean, I, I really do love that Max Max has that hidden base. But if he doesn't have some big game-changing ability, the Purification Nova of those Disruptors, what can he really do? Stalkers trying to blink back, but he loses one. Ah, the first ball is usually the most surprising, but there's an observer there. Hero calmly and easily dodges it, and oh no. Oh no, Hero's, Hero's starting to get suspicious, and he comes down to the corner with a zealot. Hero is like, oh, you naughty little Danish wunderkind. Oh, you naughty little boy. DT's on the fourth base, takes out a pile and starts hit the zealots. Starts working on the proxy gate. There is a cannon down there. I mean, Max Pax right now has two Disruptors, 30 Stalkers in a dream, and that dream is Hero passing out at his keyboard and letting these balls land on his face. The Stalker's going to blink, I think. No? Okay, that would have been crazy if he blinked forward. Zealot, Archon, DT going to the bottom left side of that. Actually, it's just Zealot, Archon. The DT is actually defending for Max Pax. Max Pax is going to lose this base. He's got to try and make something happen with his army, but he's down 40 army supply and Hero. He may have let a hidden base sneak by him for a long time, but the game one in this series, Max Pax is fighting hard from behind, but let's be real, Hero has outplayed him and put him far behind, and that disruptor shot whiffing, the whole quarter base goes down along with 15 probes. This Dark Templar, it's been very annoying, but uh, being annoying only lasts so long. Hero's going to hunt him down. The Zealot is, of course, wearing his running shoes, and he's going to be able to hunt that DT down. A few Archon Zappies, and he's off the map. Max Pax there with a very clever corner base. I, I love the idea... But Hero is just a bit too far ahead and a bit too solid for him there. Game one goes to Hero. All right, guys, that was a pretty dominating game one. I love that aggressive opening. Um, really seemed to just surprise his opponent, didn't he? I feel like Max Pax caught off guard by that one. Uh, I thought the opening actually should have been a good matchup for him, but the Adepts just got out of control and did a bit too much damage. Remember, guys, keep an eye out on these Urubus. They hang out around outside the natural area. And so far, whenever we see someone kill one of those, they always lose the game. Um, people have said, I've killed it, and then I won the game. Guys, you're, you're, no offense, your crappy ladder games don't count. I'm talking about tournament games of pro gamers. If I do it, I'm sure I can get away with it as well. But so far, in pro games, I've been commentating. Every time they kill the Urubu, they lose. It's the curse of the Urubu, man. Nice blocking for Hero here, not letting Max Pax get in his comfort zone. And Max Pax, of course, didn't invest in the pylon block. 
so you know Hero is going to block him now, because Max Bax is not as comfortable one base cheesing. And this is where your strategic range as Hero comes in as a huge bonus. Because Max Bax is like, I know you can macro or all in. Whereas Hero is like, I know you always want that Nexus really badly. So like, you, you damn you, you damn well bet he's going to bloody go for his Cyber Core as well and force Max Bax to take a third base or something like that. Max Bax can all in, but it's definitely not his favorite way of doing it. Now he's going to full wall with the Stargate. Zealot working on that pylon. Probe is trapped inside the main. Zealot's coming across the map here for Hero. So Hero's trying that same Zealot Adept pressure from the last game. Funny thing is, your Zealot can't help defend because it's trapped on the inside of the wall. So, and now in your depths on the outside, hmm, this could get a little weird. Nexus is already finished for Hero. Oh, if he gets another pylon, he's going to do it. Hero is one of the most annoying players. He drops a spy at pylon! Guys, I could argue that's not even efficient at this point. It's just to try and trigger Max Max. That's the, the whole thing is just to annoy him. Just to throw him off balance a little bit. It's just like, nah, 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 nah. You can't take a Nexus. Oracle's on the way for Max Max, but dude, he's going to get way behind on probes if, if Hero can keep producing. Max Max needs some kills. Hero's micro on the probes is slick. He gets one probe for his Adept, which is not amazing. Oh, wait, this is open? Wait, 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 wait. Was that meant to be an opening in the wall? The Zealot just walked in. I, I'm surprised. Um, let me know in chat or in the comments if you're surprised. I have no idea if Max Max is surprised or not. <laughs> I thought that was a full wall off. Um, sorry, guys. I'm a little bit silly. Apparently, I'm a, not very good at spotting wall offs. The Nexus is finally down. I mean, Max Max has done a good job of probing up. And because Hero is so afraid of the quick Oracle, there's going to be double Oracle. He's actually... Um... Wait, wait. What did I just hear die? said something die. He, but he's actually being paranoid on shield batteries and stuff, so Hero hasn't really hit the probe advantage as much as he could have. I think he could have played knowing that his opponent's, you know, going to be very, very cautious and defensive max packs generally. Could have been a little bit greedier. Nice pile and block. The Urubu's trapped inside the base. He's being co-opted into the max packs collective, guys. For those who don't know, max packs uh, is actually... Uh, a collective of multiple self-learning AIs turned into the first AI king. You might be like, what do you mean AI king? It's like a rat king, guys. So what happened is they unleashed them on StarCraft to learn the game. And then one day they woke up to check their progress and they found they'd actually entwined the tail end of their codes together. And they couldn't unentwine it. And that's basically how Max Bax was formed. The three probes go down. Is a fourth one? Oh, only three. And he loses the Oracle. Okay, he gets the fourth there. Good focus fire, but... Losing an Oracle for four probes, it's it's okay. It's not necessarily amazing. Uh, four probe advantage right now for Hero, even after that damage. That's pretty juicy. And a Void Ray building. A Void Ray is a redundant unit the longer the game goes, guys. Lots of gateways here. Twilight's finishing up. I think it's just a Void Ray for safety. If he can ambush the Stalkers on the high ground, it works out okay. But definitely behind on Blink. Robo's on the way. Hero could take a third base as well. I like this. He's trying to catch probes rallying between the bases or focus the probes far away from the mineral line. Bit of a skirmish over here. Let's focus on the Oracle. Gets three probes. Very nicely done. And if there's no overcharge or stalkers, he could run through this probe as well. He gets another one. Makes it four. Makes it five. Ooh, okay. Max Max finds some juicy. Hero not being as defensively responsible as maybe he should. Also not getting a third base. Which means the map control he has right now is not really affording him any real advantages. The Stalkers, the Void Ray is threatening outside. Great pylon blocks to, to block the shades. The Oracle's still alive. My god, there's a lot of sharks off the side of this map. And oh my god, somebody rescued that little Ewok looking guy. Do you guys see that? I've never seen that before. There's like a dude. He's, oh, actually, I think he's having fun. He's choosing to sit down there. Okay. Either that or he's screaming for help. I have no idea. <laughs> Lifeguard peers off at first. And they're like, are they waving or are they drowning? I don't know. Um, right now, the Stalker count's very similar. Dark Shrine is on the way for Hero. Pylon block. Oh, man, he's been so good with these battery and pylon blocks. Very crisp. DT Shrine is on the way, and there is only one Oracle. One Oracle is the only detection for Max Bax. He does not have a Robo. It's not a quick DT Shrine. It feels like Hero could have maybe gone there a little earlier. But uh, it definitely could pay off big. Stalker's microing pretty nicely for Hero. The Oracle gets in the main and sees the Dark Shrine. That'd be great, but there's Stalker's here. Oh, Oh, no! He loses it! Oh, God! Oh, God! He lost his only detection. Now, you know what? It might actually work in Max Pack's favor because he knows that leaves a glaring weakness in his detection, and he immediately drops a Robo. The Dark Shrine is almost finished, but there's no forward warp in point just yet. The Prism's about to pop, but there's an attack on the doorstep. He's got to be careful sneaking that Prism out. 
Oh my god, if this prism gets caught, this is a disaster for Hero. Hero has not seen the army. Oh no! Hero, his prism gets caught! Oh great, catch for Max Max! That means the DTs just need to walk across this map, and they are doing just that. There's no observer on the way just yet. Those DTs could be game winning. But right now, this Void Ray turns on his Thick Boy Beam. He turns on the Thick Boy Chad Ray Beam, and he is actually doing very well. We've got a pylon down the bottom side for Max Max as well. He does have a Stalker in the wall. If that's on hold position, that's going to save his bacon. He's chronoing an observer. He gets the third base kill. Hero backs away from that. The DTs! Battery Overcharge needs to go down right now. He's got to heal this Battery Overcharge! He's trying to wall off. Battery overcharge. Okay, the stalkers. Two of them do go down, but he buys himself the time he needs. And you know what? If he can hunt down those Dark Templar, that's good. For those who don't know, observers are slower than Dark Templar. So if you just keep running in a straight line, you can outrun it eventually. One DT does escape. Stalkers on the top side. If you can get a counter snipe, that'd be huge. But the stalkers are nearby. Hero, you got to be careful here. He knows he's behind now. Max Pax is not going to go down in this series without a fight. After a game one that looked very confident for Hero. Max Pax is fighting back with some real decisiveness, despite having his Nexus blocked for so long. Oh my god, Stalker's coming on forward there. These Stalker's backing off. No battery on the third, and he's so far behind on Stalkers. There we go, only down three. But the Void Ray is so powerful. If you're already on the back foot on the Stalker count, yeah, Void Ray turns on the Thick Beam again. Oh, man. Okay, that is huge. Probes start to fall as well. DT runs in, but... Check it out. The Adept goes down. The Stalkers warp in there. They're blocking the DT from getting on the probes. Observer gets sniped there. Max Pax does defend, but Max Pax will... Oh, the DT. Hero is mismicroing. His DT is chasing the Stalkers. It's not killing the probes. He finally sends it back in. Oh, if he had a warp prism dropping DTs in Max Pax main, he could pull this aggression away. As it is, he has to fight front on, but Max Pax reinforcing more Stalkers. So many Stalkers damaged for Max Pax, but not dead as the rally comes in. And Hero's army is crumbling under the weight of this aggression, even without a forward warp in point. Babylon's a small enough map that he can just reinforce. The DT is still hanging out on that third. Finally gets in, gets out. DT Blink is being upgraded because Hero is a cool guy who loves that upgrade. He's going to send DTs in the natural as well. Cannon's not there. Observer will pop out. Hero's trying to distract. He knows these DTs need to do massive amounts of damage. He needs to feed Max back some lasers and they get in. They get in. Oh my God, they're actually getting in. Oh, oh my God. Max Max has been so ahead for so long, but they're doing big damage. Protoss OP. I agree. I agree, Max Pax. I'm with you. Definitely, man. How can they have an invisible guy that one-shots probes? That's crazy. And you could warp it in on the other side of the map. Insanity. Absolute insanity. The DT is hiding up there. He ends up only losing eight probes. That was a pretty good scramble for Max Pax. It was actually really good handling. He's still at 61 probes versus 47. Hero is trying to retake a third base. But retaking a third this late, it's... um. Not clean, that's for sure. Not ideal. Less than ideal, many would call it. Cannons are going down everywhere, which is going to stop those DTs from walking in the front. Hero says, that's all right. I have the code to the back door. I don't know who told him the security code. I would definitely question them on that. And he saves the DT, blinks it to the edge, fix it up. Hero with his stylish moves. Cannon battery going down on the defense and a robo bay. Hero realizes if there's a way back into this game, it's going to involve very large spherical shapes it's going to involve him getting at least two big large spheres out and if he can keep those just nestled between his stalkers and immortals maybe just maybe he lands a big juicy on max Pack's face disrupt is always a good comeback play stalkers blink forward dt actually is going to fight gets himself a stalker picks up and lifts away oh hero that, that was very stylish that was cool man Okay, Prism is on the way as well as Charge. Swarming with Charge off 4 base is a sure way to use your advantages, Max Pax. And uh, building a cannon in the natural, just so we can stop worrying about this stupid Warp Prism. Very, very good choice by him. He's even got two Stalkers on the edge. I think it's time for him to go across the map. He's got a uh, 16 Stalker advantage, equals Zealot count right now. But he's going up to eight Gateways. Uh, Hero's still stuck on five Gateways, guys. No Gateways building for him, whereas we've got all those extra Gates starting to finish for Maximus. He's got the plus two on the way. He's already got plus one finished first. No upgrades for Hero. And that small Mega set of story, it's all about the Disruptor. I mean, this is all about the cannon battery holding on and then this big Disruptor landing. Surprise! He holds, he holds. Oh, he waited too long. He was trying to hold it in. He didn't want to make the mistake that so many young Protoss players have and just let it all go at once and obviously uh, end up missing his shot. He wanted to hold on, but he actually waited a little bit too long and wasn't able to land it. Max Pax now just moving through the base. He's even going to maybe take out the Dark Shrine. No, I think he wants to blink back to the low green. He doesn't want to get caught here. Oh, he cues the blink up. 
Two Stalkers derp out there. One of them he does fix the blink on. So many probes going down. And I mean, this is an amazing trade. He's got Zealots coming in from the north as well. They're going to get on the cannons. He blinks on the warp prism. He's going to depower the cannon battery. And this is massive damage. Even if your army gets held, I mean, what possible counterattack can there really be? He's even got Zealots coming in. Uh, Max Max is going to blink forward, focus the Immortals. And even though Plus One has now tied up the upgrade sphere, he's on 20 probes versus 70. Even if he defeats this army, the counterattack is going to run into a giant probe pool, which is actually going to stop his army. I kid you not. Max Max probes will be massive tanks. 16 Stalkers, so the Stalker advantage. Hero pushes him back. He fights hard and he never gives up on the micro front. But Max Max is just fighting really hard here. And after game one, feels like he's looking really, really good. Wild, he has arrived. Indeed, royalty has arrived. It's good to see that Max Max ain't going to give up easy. Uh, in fact, showing dominant play in that last game, especially having his Nexus blocked for so long. I do think Hero maybe fumbled a little bit versus the Oracles. But uh, yeah, I mean, one of the Oracles died early. I was like, hey, that's probably good for Hero. Hero, though, just let a bit too much damage start to slip in and uh, maybe didn't take advantage of being as greedy as he potentially could have in that game. Zealot Adept Pressure didn't really achieve as much. Max Pax tightened things up. Now this time around, we've got High Ground Wall Off for Hero, perhaps doing something highly aggressive, whereas Max Pax is like, I always go low ground wall, one gate expand, even though there's no ramp on this map. That's a wide open area that you can get, you know, attacked from. You've got a big main base that can get blinked in or robo dropped. And I really wonder if Hero's gonna bring out the most aggressive strategies. Live in the chat, we've got Protoss Expert on the scene for Jumi. The Max Pack Slayer is what his nickname is right now. So I'd uh, love to hear any uh, analysis from the high level. There's a bunch of high level Protoss players in chat, actually. Let us know if you guys have any thoughts or anything on the series or anything I'm missing. PvP is an elusive beast. Whenever I watch Max Pax play PvP, I always feel like I am struggling to keep up with why he does the things that he does. I always feel like I'm two steps behind in understanding, and it's only when I see the result that it all comes together and clicks in my brain. It's kind of the same for Hero as well. I feel like both of them are just so far ahead of my understanding in this matchup, and most pro gamers as well, that they've got all these little set plays that other players don't really utilize very much. That's why we are seeing such a good match here. Interesting, guys. That wall off would not have let the Archon through in the old days. But these days, Archons can squeeze through small chokes. Blizzard adding accessibility features for their, uh, um, let's say, uh, weight, weight challenged units in StarCraft, you know? No body shaming here. But let's be real, guys. The Archons are uh, on the chunkier side. Now, that pylon is perfectly placed, right? That's not going to block the Nexus, is it, Hero? I don't know. I get a little bit nervous on these new maps. Stargate goes down for Hero. Doesn't look like he's going crazy all in. Max Pax didn't go for a Zealot. He's just going Nexus, Adept, his own Stargate. And we might end up seeing a Phoenix War here, but both of these guys are very quick to swap into Dark Templar or Blink off of Phoenix versus Phoenix. I, I, I really don't think you should double down on the Phoenix play too hard because they're both very capable of sliding Dark Templar in right when you think they're putting all their gas into Phoenix. Two Stalkers coming forward for Hero. Two Adepts behind this. He's definitely got some good flexible aggression. The battery's not done yet. And that Stalker's not ready. Oh, God. It's already getting out of control. If he doesn't chrono this... Oh, man. He's probably going to need to save the battery. Okay, the battery barely saves the Adept. Okay. I, I, I said he's in trouble. Max Max apparently has this just down to a T. He starts a Void Ray, which is kind of interesting because he's actually seen a Nexus on the other side. He's not cancelling it to build the Oracle. Void Raid does shut down enemy Oracle Harass as well. That's another favor. Oh, oh, can he get the Stalker? Oh, he, he canceled the Shade. Otherwise, he might have been able to get it. He's going to need to battery overcharge. Has he got energy? He's got energy. He saved the energy. Battery overcharge has to go down. Very good defense here by Max Pax. And he's going up into the main with the Void Raid. He says, I don't need to think about attacking. I know his Nexus is way later than mine. Void Raid defends the main. And uh, the other units defend the natural. And we are all good. The battery actually finishes and blocks him on the outside. There is a battery in the main. Twilight on the way for Hero. Now, there is an Oracle coming in behind the Void Ray, so a very delayed one for Max Pax, but look out. Void Ray does crazy damage to the Oracle, but a very quick pullback for Hero. Hero's down eight workers. 
That's a big problem. Oh, Max Bax! Oh my god, he even uses the shade to track where the oracle is, preemptively sending it forwards to try and spot it. Oh my god, and his own oracle's going forward. There is a battery in the main, but that natural's a little exposed. There are stalkers warping in. Adepts are ready to try and counterattack, but remember, the battery finished. I love this little counterattack from Max Pax, knowing somehow that he can go across the map with one adept, two stalkers, and an oracle right now. He's going to try and drop a stasis trap, but he's going to take a lot of damage for it. That's a costly maneuver. I don't know if that was the right one. Freezes four probes and does get back to the safety there. Okay, okay, very nicely done. Adept comes in as well, manages to get itself a probe before going down. Feels like Max Max is large and in charge, up eight workers in this game. People were asking, why would you prismatically align versus an Oracle? A few years ago, they changed it, so Oracles are now armored units, guys. They actually take a lot more damage from Stalkers and Void Rays. Um, however, they are way less vulnerable to Phoenix these days. So they changed that because they felt like you kind of had to go Phoenix to counter Oracles. You could have like three, four Stalkers in a Mineral Line. The Oracle would just ignore it and kill the Mineral Line too quickly. So uh, they, they actually made that change to try and allow Stalkers to counter the Oracles as, as another option. So it wasn't, oh, you have to play Phoenix to defend that. Oracle does get trapped in the backside, does go down. Robo starting up for Max Pax. He's got Blink on the way. And there is a Dark Shrine on the way, guys. Oh my god. Now, Hero's been spamming Dark Shrine. I gotta tell you guys, he 3 0'd Max Pax with Dark Templar in a recent weekly cup. I think two weeks ago. And it looked really nasty. Like it was like it was like, oh my god, how are these DTs working every single game, right? But I feel like Max Pax is just on his guard for it, and Hero might be using the same trick a little bit too much. Yeah, he went Void Ray Oracle. He's probably not going to have much detection, but Max Pax is so aware of that. His guard is up. I feel like he's paranoid about Dark Templars today, and it's serving him very well because that Dark Templar tech shouldn't find the mark. Hero does have a much quicker third, so you might say, well, he's ahead because he's got the Blink earlier. He's got eight Stalkers. Oh, wait, he's down in Stalkers. Oh, wait, his Blink is behind, guys. He hasn't actually got any real advantage. He's got the Dark Shrine. He's making Bleat DT Blink. He's got a quicker third. The thing is, Max Max has already saturated his bases. He's already up on four gases. Yeah, his third's a bit later, but uh, that'll maybe turn into a very slight advantage, but it comes off the back of Max Max already mining more than him for several minutes. The Stalkers are going to push back those. Third Nexus finally goes down for Max Max. He's got a pylon in the north side of the map as well. The north of the map. Probably don't need to say north side. That's redundant, I believe. Anyway, Adept does come in here on the natural. Could be annoying. I think Max Pax thought that died, but nope. Stalkers do come down. Double Oracle. Ooh, I think Max Pax saw that. You gotta be careful, mate. Oh, this is getting weird. Stasis traps are going down. Max Pax is coming from behind, though. Stalkers blink in and set off the stasis traps. He catches an Oracle. He catches both Oracles. Void Ray uses its Chad Beam to take down a bunch of Stalkers. DTs run into the Observer. Oh, no. Oh, my God. Danish Alpha Star has arrived. Fighting words from Max Pax there as he takes control of this match. Uh, you know, uh, the AI may lose the first game to the human, but it is a self-learning game. And in between matches while we're getting game three set up, it seems like Max Pax has done 10,000 practice runs to prepare. But guess what? The DT did get in and actually got seven probes. So one of the DTs got caught. The other one actually got nine probes. That was more than I realized. Oh my gosh. And another DT on the third. Hero's been a cheeky boy with it, but can he defend 20 stalkers on the front? because it's feeling like he's super committed. Max Pax, the stasis trap, bought a few seconds there. The stalk is coming in. There's another stasis trap on the left hero. He's going to lose the shield batteries. The void ray is still alive. That is such a problem. Oh, the stasis on the south hero wants him to walk into that so badly. The probes actually do some really good tanking. Really nice tanking there. It looks like the other DT did get cleaned up. 10 probes go down for Hero, but he is still up 10 workers at the end of that. Hero says, what was that, buddy? What was that about Alpha Star? He actually holds on. The DTs do massive damage. Max Pax is the one with the Desperation Dark Shrine, and his Prism goes down. The third base no longer mining a massive amount of damage there. Hero holds on. That was a stunning fight. Let's look at the battle report. Oh my god, Max Pax only killed one Stalker in that fight? Are you kidding? I... I he only, he, he, guys, he got 10 probes and one stalker for 12 stalkers, a void ray, and a prism. Look at the trading. That was amazing micro from Hero. I didn't even realize. I thought he lost like four stalkers, I, and that was still amazing for him, but that was actually even better than I thought. And guess what? Cannon on the third, cannon on the natural. 
No cannon in the main, but nonetheless, that's not a lot of angles for your Dark Shrine to find the mark. Dark Shrine finished for Max Pax. He's going to warp in a single Dark Templar and maybe try to run past into the main base. But Hero has a fourth base on the way, and he's looking rock solid. These two are such good sparring partners, such good uh, matches for each other in terms of their level. Six gates for Hero going up to seven, only four gates for Max Pax. These guys do so much fighting. You're going to notice they stay lower on gateways than other players. I feel like Australia was like three years ahead of the meta on this, and everybody at the top has now picked it up, where it's like, hey, if we just play like Terran and keep warping in units, that's more efficient than powering up to eight gateways all at once. Here we go, DT goes in on the natural. I think a DT tried to run in, but I think it got caught going into the main base. The DT runs away from the, the, the fourth. No, no probe kills, guys. He damaged some structures, and that's it. That's, that's not great at all. He lost one Dark Templar. Max Bax is behind. He's trying to play Zealot Stalker to catch up. But with plus two on the way for Hero, Hero is looking to be miles ahead. And he's playing a nice, like, sort of cleanup style where he's just clearing the map, defending DTs, not letting Max Bax find any big openings. He says, I have a fourth earlier than you. I have upgrades earlier than you. We're all good. Max Bax does try to catch up with his own fourth. He's going to be playing just four gas style for now. He's going for his own Blink DT upgrade. <laughs> Both of these players recognizing just how powerful Blink DTs can be. But playing Zealot Stalker from behind is rough. Eight gateways are down for Hero. They're all transformed into warp gates. He's going to go up to 10. Hero, on the other hand, is just getting to eight gateways now. So he's a little bit behind in the production. He's down 20 army supply, eight probes, and plus two is going to finish soon after plus two has just started. So... You can, I mean, you can just list off this. this where does Max Pax advantage lie? Defender's advantage is it. He has to just hug shield batteries and look for good fights and block things like the sick five DTs on the right. Oh my god, look at this move, guys. He postures on the left side. Five DTs on the right. Stalkers and an observer are quick to respond, though. Oh, oh, the DTs do back off. Good, good actual split by Max Pax. Great anticipation on that. He realized that this was going to happen. He hangs on. Battery overcharge buys him a little bit of time. He's not that far down on army supply. It's plus two's catching up. No plus three on the way. Hero feels like he might try to force the issue here. There's only one battery and overcharge is almost done. Hero says, I baited the overcharge. Now it's time to win the game. I'm up an upgrade. I have similar stalk account, but I've also got a lot more zealots coming in behind it. The immortal is going to be exposed here in a moment. Good blink back, dodging some shots. Nice play so far by Max Pax, but he's desperately got to try to hang on. He's making DTs on the top. Hero is taking a fifth base and plus three. Hero is still on Mass Stalker Zealot. He's still looking for the big mistake, the big victory. DT's running by into the natural. There's only one cannon there, guys. Three DT's going to kill that real quick. Oh, no. And he pushes the front at the same time. Max Pax is, is trying to run probes away from his natural and move his squad, but the Stalker Zealot's coming in at the same time. The cannon in the third gets overwhelmed. The Zealot's forcing Max Pax back. Max Pax goes in with 40 T's of his own, but two cannons and a battery. Greet it. Perfect defense by Hero behind the two prong. I love that he saw the top base was exposed, so he attacked the natural and kind of threaded the needle, went into the natural expand. It seems like the safest area, but the safest area is also the area that people neglect defending because of that exact fact. Hero just playing a splendid game of StarCraft, even sniping observers on the retreat here. He's up 16 workers. And Hero, we call him the best Protoss player in the world for a reason, guys. This game was looking a little rough for him. He was way down on the workers in the early game. Gets a third, slides DTs in, even losing his oracles and a bunch of stalkers in the middle of the map. He turns disadvantage to advantage. I feel like this man, he, he takes a pair of dirty used undies that would basically was the early game. Hero says, wow, these are stinky. I've been wearing these undies for a week. Any other person would just go, this is terrible. I've got to, I've got to freestyle it. I've got to go commando. Hero, he turns those bad boys inside out, gets another week's wear out of them. Hero takes the lead two to one. Well, that was a pretty damn sick game on Gressman. He's on a roll and he says, no breaks. We've got to play. I've got another tournament to play later tonight. I'm like, really? <laughs> I forgot Hero. I think he's playing in one of the Wardy Court tournaments in just a little while. And he's like, dude, I got to get this series over with. So I don't know if he's going to cheese or not. Obviously, I think the other tournament will hold back that match a little bit as needed for this. But uh, this is Hero in the bottom left side of the map. Dragon Kaizy Gaming. Max Pax in the top right. Repping Sandstorm Gaming. Playing really well for them in the World Team League recently as well. Looked really good in those matches. Probes go past each other. This one has a ramp. It's a safer one gate expand build. Uh, or map for both of these players. Just keeping my eye out. So straight for the double gas for Hero, whereas Max Max is keeping a bit more minerals in the bank, so he can potentially go for the quick nexus. 
Hero not risking going into the main because he knows Max Pax likes to do that. So they're both blocking the Nexus. Little does Max Pax know, Hero is never going to take this. He's mining two gases, building a second pylon. And Max Pax, realizing that Hero is going to commit to the block, takes his own second gas, second pylon, and says, Ah, okay. You're going to force me to not take that Nexus? No worries. Hero does stop blocking now. Realizing, yeah, at this point you've probably decided, okay, I'm not getting the Nexus down. He confirms, and he doesn't need to block again until about... Maybe a minute 55 is probably the absolute earliest, but usually about two minutes if they go second gas, second pylon. They could cancel the Zealot, get it about two minutes. So you're going to see both players say, oh, it's almost two minutes, time to start blocking. Max Pax may be doing it a little bit earlier than necessary. But as I said, they're both going to be paranoid about blocking that Nexus, both building a Zealot to chase off anything. And it looks like Stargate goes down for Hero. Stargate goes down for Max Pax. Max Pax with a hole in the middle of his wall. Hero on the side. But it's been a complete mirror matchup so far. 24 probes apiece, each building a zealot. Max Pack starts his adept slightly earlier. Hero gets his nexus down a little earlier. Interesting. So Hero delays the adept this time around, and the nexus will finally get down from Max Pax. I say finally, that's, I mean, it's like 10 seconds later, 15 seconds later. It's not a big deal. But uh, seeing no adept building, Max Pax can be a bit greedier this time. However, it's Hero who's already up a probe. And Max Pax resumes probing. So he'll catch up on that in a moment. He's building a third pylon. And is either player going to be playing Phoenix? They both know it's Stargate. And so Phoenix is, is awesome here. Because you're like, yeah, I can just shut down the Oracle. Max Pax goes Oracle. Hero plays Phoenix. Ooh-wee. All right. If those Phoenix catch the Oracles, it can go really well. But remember, Phoenix take a while to kill Oracles now. Talking about that in that previous game. They don't take, you know, it's not as quick as they used to be. Zealot here just chasing this patrolling probe. Adept's going to try to get in with the Zealot. They're going to try and break down that wall. Zealot derps out for a second, but it looks like Hero, if he cancels that, could be in trouble. He's rallying a Phoenix across to the Stargate to try and catch the Oracle. And the Oracle's just hiding in the corner of the base. Hero. Oh my god, Hero! Hero's hunting it! Hero's hunting it! Max Max jukes out, though, and then we get Max Max gets out. Max Max slides out. He kills the pylon with a Zealot Adept. He's in the base. There's nothing but a Zealot to respond. The probe is still alive. The Phoenix aren't here, and they miss the Oracle. If the Adept and the Zealot get the Phoenix busy defending that, the Oracle could come in for big damage. This is a massive, massive play by Max Max. And he may be down a game here, but look at that. They pick up the Adept. They don't able to kill it until now, using both lifts for that. The Zealot... If he depowers the Stargate, that's going to be redonkulous. The Phoenix are out of position right now. Where is that Oracle, guys? He's coming in. That means the Zealot will get dropped. If he retargets the Zealot, the pylon could go down. The Oracle comes in the main. Ah, oh, the Zealot did not retarget, but four probes do fall. The Zealot does get picked up a second time anyway. All the lifts get used. Four probes end up going down, which at the end of the day, maybe not the most amazing trade, right? You, you sacrificed a fair few units, an Oracle, an Adept, and a Zealot. Probe's going to go down here as well. But you're up in workers and actually going into his own two-star Phoenix. So they're both playing two-star Phoenix. Does Hero know this? Okay, he saw Phoenix building. So he's got a good idea. And since neither player has detection, Dark Templar could be king here. Zealot's going to go out to scout for Hero. Max Pax coming in with a probe. Second star gets up a little earlier for Max Pax. And he's a little ahead on the gas mining on the natural. Or is he actually? No, Hero's dead even so they both start mining four gases guys we got an old-fashioned phoenix war on our hands max Pax comes in with that probe sees that there's still phoenix building i don't think he saw the second stargate that was a bit too far back but seeing phoenix still producing you can assume that's the case <laughs> and the scary thing with phoenix guys is they're very high damage so if you're down like two or three phoenix it's like the fight gets so bad because you lose your first phoenix a little quicker then you lose your second phoenix even quicker your third Phoenix even quicker. And, and by halfway through the battle, you're at double their Phoenix count and then triple. And then you've got 10 Phoenix left over and they've got none. So it's really bad. Hero dives like a mad dog. Two for two. Two for two, guys. Two for two. Right now, we've got six Phoenix versus six Phoenix. Hero being very aggressive. He's digging for mistakes from Max Pax. We're in US West. He's going to favor Hero a little in the ping. Not a massive amount, but a little bit. Hero looking for a third base behind it. That aggressive stance really serving him well. Fleet Beacon goes down. Max Pax is going for range. Hero is doing the SOS. For those who don't know, SOS is famous for everyone said you need to go Phoenix range. There was a game in GSL many years ago. Many moons ago, Tezdosus cast him. And he said, instead of going Phoenix range, I'm going to get a third Stargate. I'm going to make more Phoenix than you can possibly imagine. And yes, you outrange me. 
But if I ever catch you moving in the wrong direction and get on top, we have the same move speed. We're moving shoot units. It doesn't matter. And guess what? If you get trapped against the map, edge of the map, there's nowhere to run. There's nowhere to hide. So if you just go for the giant overwhelming number of Phoenix, and if you catch them up against the edge of the map, it doesn't matter if they've got plus two range and they could technically kite you all game long because they've got nowhere to kite you. There's no room. And that was a real big kind of 300 IQ brain bursting moment that, that SOS taught us in that game. I think Hero is going to go for that move because there's still no fleet beacon inside. He's building a pylon at the third just to see what's going on. He sees there's still Phoenix building. Either player would be so dead to Dark Templar right now. There's just no 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 forges, no robos. But they feel like, nah, I think it's fine, you know? I think I know what's going on. I love these pylons. There's, there's one zealot on the ground that he could use to go kill the pylons. But the pylons are just like, hey... I'm going to block your bases and all your units of Phoenix. They can't pick up buildings. Get wrecked. 14 Phoenix versus 16. There's a 1 to 2 Phoenix advantage right now for Mr. Hero. Oh, careful, Max Specs, but he gets one. He gets a Phoenix with the range advantage. And I don't know if Hero is expecting that range to be kicking in yet. So far, guys, we've seen, of course, 3 Phoenix dive for Hero, 2 for Max Specs. Max Specs does not want to get caught. If Hero gets behind him, that could be big. Oh, the range advantage is big, though. He gets 2 Phoenix, doesn't lose any. Hero's in trouble right now. He's got it. Yeah, he gets a turnaround. He gets a turnaround. Great ambush. Great ambush. Oh, my God. Hero going for the big YOLO, but not all of his Phoenix are fighting. Some of the ones in the back aren't. Oh, my God. I don't know who came out on top of that. I think it was Max Max. He's killed 17 for 11. Massive advantage to Max Max. Of course he's way ahead, Pig. I mean, if he survives with any Phoenix and doesn't straight up die, he's going to hunt you down. You've got nowhere to run, nowhere to hide. They've got plus two range. Max Pax survives the three Stargate Phoenix all in. Hero was not sneaky enough. He should have tried to hide this a little bit better. And maybe he could have pulled it off. But Max Pax doing really well here. And now he can just sit on top of the Stargates and overwhelm. Doesn't even need to use the range advantage. Not really. These Phoenix coming out are going to get gunned down quick, fast. What can you do as Hero? As Max Max, I'd, I'd be a little nervous that DTs are coming in, so I would start a cannon at each base behind this, but look at that. He's going to pick off all the probes. Twilight Council and Gateway start. Hero is like, it's okay, I'll build Stalkers. He, he's he got Warp Gate, which Max Max skipped on, by the way. He's going to send two Adepts in. God, guys, God bless Hero for trying. Hero is not the sort of player who just gives up easily. Hero is a mad dog. He's like, two Adepts and a five-gate transition. Nine minutes in the game with Mass Phoenix over my base. Let's bloody do it, dude. Let's bloody do it. He forces the recall. He's not that far behind on workers. Let's let's dream big, guys. Dream big. He's got a gateway on the front. Max Max is only up five workers. <laughs> He's making a dark shrine. Blatantly obvious at this point. I'm, no, I'm grasping at straws. What could I say? He goes, ah, there's, there's no way. We're going to get a game at five. Uh, it's going to be tied up two to two. What an even series. The single zealot, a conundrum. For a player to defend with just probes. The Zealot does go down. But man, these Phoenix have been doing so much damage. Oh! And he says, hey, guess what? I can just bring an Oracle in and laser beam you. You're going to have to battery overcharge to heal your way through that. That Oracle's going to get some kills. Sees the Dark Shrine now. Of course, there's already two Oracles out for detection. He knows that that's got to be the play. Two Adepts are warping on the other side of the map right now. They're going to try and shade in the Phoenix camping the Stargates. The Oracle... Up to uh, two kills, make it three. Stalkers warp in are going to deal with that. Adepts come in the natural as well. Very slick move by Hero here. He's going to... He's got double Void Ray production as Max Max. What's going on, man? Oh, God. The Phoenix come over and pick up the Stalkers, which is nice. There's an Oracle in the natural killing probes as well. But, dude, he's got to deal with these guys. I don't think he does. The Phoenix come back. They just need to lift that other Adept and he'll be fine. Phoenix over here just need to lift that Stalker as well. Single Stalkers getting picked up by the Phoenix and killed. The Adepts look like they did finally go down. Max Max loses eight workers, but he kills 13. He's got a fourth base on the way. There are DTs warping now. Here's a funny thing, guys. Phoenix can't pick up Archons as well. So, <laughs> you do need to transition to a proper ground army. Max Gateway, a Twilight, an Immortal, and Void Ray is building right now for Max Max. He's going to clear up the Gateway. Hero says, let's go Blink DT and go for a base trade. So, he's going to hide DTs in the corner of the map and try to go for some sort of base trade later on. I, uh, I don't see it working, but there is nothing to be lost by trying. A lot of players get really upset playing from behind. Hero is very good at making comebacks because um, he's just calm no matter what. And just like, hmm, brain calculates a 0.3% chance of victory. How can I? I gotta, uh, those are rookie numbers. How, I got to pump those numbers right up, you know? 
wipes the side of his nose, sniffs to himself and says, how can I take my opponent's win percentage out of their pocket and put it straight into my pocket? Um, right now, I think Max Bax might be a bit too savvy of an investor to let that happen. He's got cannon battery up on his bases. And uh, yeah, <laughs> he's going to come in and get the fourth. Man, there's so many Phoenix. It's 16 Phoenix. Look at that. The Stalkers are like, take this, Void Rays. They actually killed a Void Ray, which I'm kind of shocked by. Every Stalker gets picked up and killed. CTs blink on the cannon. Oh, yeah, they killed the cannon. I killed the cannon, but I did not kill the deputy. Uh, right now, we're just singing rather than casting, because I love that Hero is being as annoying as he is. I feel like this is legitimately stressful for Max Pax. Like, Hero has a 0% chance of victory, and yet he's annoying the crap out of Max Pax. And what is StarCraft strategy other than annoying your opponent, really? At the end of the day, if you're tr having trouble deciding your strategy, think about what would be annoying for them to play against and embrace it. And that's really what Hero is all about. I mean, he did it to Gumio earlier, where he's just like, lol, oracles, lol, stalkers, lol, oracles, lol, random adept, here's a zealot, here's a gateway, you found it, it's okay, I'll cancel it and build another one elsewhere. Hero is is just a guy who lives to extract salt from his opponents. He's, he's watched the Florencio files before and he's learned all about how to annoy his opponents, even when there's a very low chance of victory. Eight DTs are out, they're going to move down that right side of the map. Phoenix, immortal void ray push. I love this army from Max Pax, it's so adorable. He recalls Stalkers away, because it's the only way to escape this army. And, uh, I, you know, recall got used by Max Pax. So the 8 DTs coming in. Can they take out all these cannons? Okay, Blinks. Oh, battery overcharge would be nice. It comes down a little bit too late. But he warps in to block the other cannon, which is super sick. Phoenix picking up those guys. The probes try to surround the Immortals. And the Void Rays and the Immortals have an absolute slaughter party, wiping those guys out. DT's running in the natural right now as well. Ooh, man. For those, a uh, funny comment from Twitch chat, they said, this is actually game five, for those who don't know, not game four. It just starts with him stressing Max Pax out and making him work extra overtime to finish the game off, just to tilt him for the next game. Well, it very well may be the strategy. I'm pretty sure that uh, that was very annoying. At the end of that, I'm pretty sure Max Pax is just like, dude. Hey, leave me alone. And get out of my game. All right, well, this series is tied up 2-2. Two to two. Down here in the bottom left side, either player needing two games to win. Dragon, Kaizy Gaming's hero. And in the top right, we've got Max Pax. I am giddy that this series is so back and forth, but hero going for a high ground gateway build. I am wondering if he's going to throw out a, a nasty all-in. We really, we haven't seen it yet. And I'm a little surprised because Max Pax, I mean, he's the god of defending one gate expand. But I also feel like in a best of seven, hero, the king of, you know, varied surprising strategies, He's got to have some sort of one base all in up his sleeve. It's just hard to hide it because Max Pax probe scout so well. Then he sends a Zealot across sometimes. Then he sends an Adept across. Then there's an Oracle. It's very hard to, to hide what you're doing. All right, probe is moving around the far left side. Nexus is on the way. So it's Nexus core, then second gate. Very much a standard one gate expand. This is not the one with the super quick Stargate for Max Pax. And uh, I would consider skipping Stargate if I was him and just playing like a more of a straight blink opening. Like, you know, get two gate stalker, defend, use your probe advantage. Uh, on the other hand, doesn't know what his opponent's up to. Double stalker production. Third pylon will build here on the low ground in a moment. Hero often delays that pylon a little bit. He's already stopped probing at 23. Hero's all inning. Hero blocks him in the base. Hero's not building probes. Max Pax sees no lights flashing on the Nexus. That's a blatant tell, Hero. Hero has got to build... He's going to take a hidden Nexus? I mean, it's too obvious if he all ends at this point, I believe. On the other hand, Max Pax is so greedy. He goes Stargate anyway. Oh! Oh my god! Oh my god, guys. Okay, so the Stalker cleans up the probe. And guess what? He's going to... Now the probe's dead, he's going to resume probing. He's going Twilight... He's going to take the Nexus from behind Hero. He's going to slide a Nexus into the back door of that gold base. Oh, man. Hero's going to bring out the gold digger build, guys. So there we go. He's going to do a four stalker pressure. He cut probes at 23 to make it look like an all-in. Max Pax has to play super safe. He should be building Void Ray, probably. He's going to go Oracle. Max Pax is such a ballsy nerd. His Adept getting chased down in the corner of the map. That's going to go down. That's going to go down. Great chase by Hero to get rid of that Adept. And it goes down. But he's going for the Nexus that the probing hasn't restarted, though. 
Hero, if you don't build probes, you're in trubs. I mean, I guess he needed the battery for the Oracle. But I, I worry that he's just going to fall a bit too far behind economically. On the other hand, Max Pax has no vision. And Max Pax has one Stalker. He, he's got an Avoider in the way. He's got one Stalker and one battery. There's four Stalkers versus one right now. Oh, uh oh. I feel like Hero could have actually clicked the Shield battery there. Probably thought there was another Stalker about to come down. Oracle's going to fly in. Can it get any damage? Battery finishes in perfect time here for Hero. Hero is down three workers. And get out of there, Max Pax. Good pullback timing. He sees the Twilight. He sees it's one base. you got to check the gold. You have to check the gold. Now, obviously, Max Pax dumping batteries, building a Void Ray. His Zealot's out. He's trying to survive. He's building a Robo. He's sure this is an all-in. And the thing is, he's the earlier he realizes and goes and checks the gold base, the better for him. I don't know where he's clicked this Oracle right now. Just leaving it there. But right now, he is probing a little bit and taking a third gas. He's building batteries in the main. And it is just nothing but probes and Blink Stalkers for hero he's got that gold fully saturated he recalled probes there very nicely done he should stop building probes on that base and only build them in the main now but he's tricked him the oracle if he loses the oracle to the stalkers max Pax is in what we call ultimate doo-doo town he is up doo-doo river without a paddle and that's when you need to if you don't have a paddle you're in doo-doo river you have to start using your hands and that ain't good man there's all sorts of health concerns uh there's a lot of problems that can happen on the other hand it feels like a big two base blink all in for Matt, for Hero. Uh, so maybe just building Void Rays and Mortal Stalkers is going to be okay. Oracle comes in. Sees four gates, but no Nexus. He's got to realize what's up. Max Pax has got to realize there's a gold base. It's, it's at this point, it has to be that because it's past five minutes. Where's the blink all in? The crazy thing is Hero's still posturing at the front, acting like he's the big scary. He's the guy with the big scary all in. I think Max Pax, it's dawned on him what's happening. He went and checked the gold on the right, which, by the way, Hero's going to take as his third base. I kid you not, guys. He's going to have the most vicious charge zealot transition you've ever seen. If this, if this gets to his third being up, he's going to have three bases, two golds, and he's going to make like a billion zealots. The Oracle's going to come in. There is a battery there. Might get one or two probes, though. Stalkers did back off on the other side. Bit slow on the pull. Five probes. Great pickoff. And I mean, Max Pax is up a bunch of work as he sees this gateway explosion. So Max Pax, now he's got to try to either go kill Hero or get his own third up. And that's a really hard call to make because your opponent has Blink Stalkers. He has map dominance. If you push, it's basically a, a big, slow, dumb, immobile wall in. If you don't push, he's also getting another gold up that you don't even know about right now. So Max Pax is up against the wall. Hero bringing out his dirty tricks, utilizing the gold base, which by the way... Hero has a crazy high percentage of taking the gold base on any map that has a gold base. He's the highest of any top player in the world. He does it in every matchup as well. Like, he'll do it versus Zerg player. He'll come up with some crazy double gated depth pressure and then take the gold base. Um, oh, oh, oh my god. Oh my god. Luckily, Hero wasn't watching. Hero's watching the front right now, trying to siege him up. Everything that Max Pax is building, Void Rays and Immortals, are kind of hard counted by Zealots just swarming in on top of them. And he's down in the Stalker count. He's just trying to go into mass Blink Stalker of his own here. But that gold base is going to create uh, just a huge problem for him. He loses a gateway as well. He's on one warp gate production versus six. This might be checkmate. This might actually be checkmate. He's trying to rebuild gateways in the main right now, but he's kind of walling himself with it. Oh! Almost loses an immortal, but it's okay. Battery does heal up. Oracle's over here. He sees no other expansion. And he finally realizes, oh, there's got to be a gold base, doesn't there? On the downside for Hero, he has to build batteries at every base, but look at that. These Stalkers get the Oracle kill. That'll be really good for him. And they do. Oh, man. Going up to nine gateway Zealot transition. 42 probes versus 42. But the income tells us just how far ahead Hero's income is. Now, the only downside is the gold base mines out super duper quickly. So the longer the game drags out, you do need to take a very quick fourth and fifth base. But uh, right now, up 10 Stalkers. Those three Immortals are amazing versus the Stalkers. But the Zealots, once they're in front, the Immortals become dead weight. This is, this is checkmate. I don't see what you can possibly do from here as Max Pax. The, the tricky build from Hero just out mind gamed him, threatened the one base all in, went for the sneaky gold base. Max Pax took too long to realize what was up. Stalker Snipe blinks away, loses a Zealot. Max Pax is going to try and hunt him down using the Warp Prism a little bit there. 
The Void Ray sticking out, though. The Adepts do come in behind the Gold Minerals, but they're going to get caught by those Stalkers if they don't watch out for themselves. Army blinks in. Battery goes down. He's going to try and deep out the gate, but he doesn't get it. The Stalkers blink across the Minerals. It's a trap. Max Max getting overrun by Hero in this game. And man, it's been some wild back and forth, but Hero got the jump on him there. I love the way he trapped his probe in, cut worker production to show an all in, and then just takes a gold base, goes back to probing. Brilliant play by Hero. All right, all right, all right. One game away from sealing the deal here. That was a brilliant mind game in that last one. So well played. Dragon Kaiser Gaming's Hero looking good. High ground pylon again on Ancient Cistern. Max Max also going for the high ground pylon. Repping Psy Storm in the top right. Now, the thing is with this pylon location, you can build a shield battery down there and kind of defend your natural, but you've got the nice fallback point on the high ground. So I, I quite like this on this map. There's no ramp here at the natural, so that's a nice way of doing it. And it's going to be a gate scout for both players. Thank you everyone who's stuck with us through the whole broadcast today. It's going nice and long in this PvP. Both players struggling to just knock each other out of these games. Feels like both of them uh, die hard. Hero, oh, he hides it. Look at that, he hides his probe. Let's Max back come up and he's gonna go for the quicker one gate expand. He's gonna try and play the economy game again against Max Max. I love the switch that he switches, you know, fake aggression into just straight up greed. Hero blocking the expand on the other side. The second gas is already up and mining. So Max Pax, remember he actually did really well when he just went straight into Oracles off this similar opening earlier in the series where he, got, he let the Nexus get up and it was like, oh no, he's way behind on probes and his Oracles just did a ton. Hero's actually built that Nexus on, was that an 18 Nexus? Wait, 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 wait. Hero's gonna do a proxy gate off this Nexus, guys. He hasn't taken his second gas yet. If Max Pax goes back in and still sees no second gas, he's going to know what's up. So Hero might be doing like a double fake out again. Because this is this is like a four gate with a fake expand. This is Or a three gate more likely. This is the parting PVT build. Max Pax, as long as he checks that, he's going to be able to respond. Only one gas is a big sign. The other thing Hero could do is he could fake that he's doing the aggression and then take a third Nexus. He could chuck an Estrella. Stalker's coming out for him. But he hasn't proxied again. He's blocking the Nexus. I guess this could just be a super economic play. He just says, well, this way I can probe and build Stalkers non-stop off one gate. And then I'll just drop a Twilight uh, later, like much later. I'll get a second gas. I, I got a question though. At this point, you're starting to bank up money. He's not proxying. He's just playing non-stop probe Stalkers batteries. Wow, there's like an elegance to this. His tech is going to be hella late. But it's a very simple style. Like, as long as I non-stop chrono the gate and non-stop build probes, I should be fine. It's max packs. Most players would be worried, but we know he only opened one gate. We know he opened Stargate. He's almost certainly expanding. Hero doesn't even bother to confirm the Nexus is down because he can just take it for granted because it's max packs. He is now going three gate and then dropping a second gas. Wow, very cute opening here four hero the adepts are gonna get in though oh my oh me oh my okay the zealots and the adepts gonna go in the adepts not really going to that main mineral line as quickly as they could have i feel like the zealot didn't get much done either oh the probes around hero goes for it but max back's too slippery he's already up to four probe kills but he's not gonna get any more here as the adept does shade out that's good he saved the adept though he can join that with another one come back later for more behind this second oracle's on the way twilight council goes down Work account is up three for Hero, and he's chronoing like mad. Max Pax trying to catch up as well. He's going to sack the Adept. He's like, dude, I need any damage I can get. And it's a Strax, allowing the Oracle to come in and get one probe. Two probes go down. The Oracle takes hefty damage for it, though, almost dying. But that does give Max Pax the economic lead. Two Adept swapping in for Hero right now. He's going to try and send those across to do some counter damage. There are some Stalkers at home and a single battery on that natural that we talked about earlier. Powered from the high ground. Oracles catch the shade. Oh, big juicy. One of the oracles is almost out of energy, but it's enough to get the double kill. Oh, that's really good for Max Pax. Max Pax, even when his Nexus is blocked, keeps getting value out of these oracles. Oh, good stalker catch. Sees the oracle rotation. 
This is six stalkers and three adepts coming across the map. <clears throat> Maxbacks has four stalkers. Uh oh. And only one battery. Ooh, his second gate is up. His third gate's building. Can he defend this, though? I think he can. Especially if the double oracle gets enough energy to do a drive-by. The problem is right now, if he turns on the lasers, one of those oracles runs out of energy instantly. Don't do it. Don't do it. Oh, look at that. See, that wasn't worth it. He only gets one probe, two probes, drops the revelation and pulls out. Adept shading in. Great stalker warp in force field. Would have loved to see a pylon there as well to block him. They're going to get in and get a lot of workers. Oh, he may have taken damage earlier. And the oracles! The oracles fly through the stalkers on the other side. Hero, that adept comes in. Seven kills and both oracles. Max Max might be falling apart. Hero! Oh me, oh my. He plays PvP all day and night. He is the master of PvP for a reason, everybody. Up to three gases. He's got his blink chrono boosting. Yes, his blink's way behind, but that's okay. He's got plenty of stalkers to survive. Equal stalker count. And he's looking for a third base. I think Hero's done a great job. He's got another three adepts looking for a run by. It's kind of funny he's got three. You might say, why three? Isn't it only two to shoot the probes? This way he can lose one and he's still got that lethality. That ability to one-shot those workers. And that's what's really nice. Three gate versus three gate. But going up to five gates now is Hero. That base does get blocked. Three stalkers warping in. I wouldn't mind Max Max hiding them. Letting the shade finish and then blinking on them. Extra gateway getting proxied in the bottom right corner as well. Six gate blink. Still no third for Hero. Hero is a funny guy. I always feel like just take a third gateway ahead and he's like, nope. No, 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 no. Okay. Looks like the Adepts came in and killed the probe, but the third Nexus started. These stalkers deny the third from ever going down. They got to get out. But blink is not done. Hero can't actually chase. Max Max's a little slow to blink. Oh, Adepts. Man, these Adepts are so slippery. Hero, he must have greased these bad boys up. Is, is that a pair of adepts or is that groundskeeper Willy? Oh my god, because he's going through those vents uh, and he is wriggling this way and that like just nobody's problem. The adept is going to get yet yeah, another worker. You're kidding me, mate. Six more probes do go down. 20 stalkers for Hero, 15 for Max Pax. That robo is almost finished right now. Here we go. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, stalkers going down, but a good counterattack. Hero got good damage at the start, but it could turn south for him. That's a lot of stalkers hot on the warpath. 14 versus 16 in favor of Hero. Hero does not have a third base. Max Pax almost does. Third base starts up now for Hero, but Hero's Dark Shrine. Some call it the Dong Shrine. It is almost finished. That's the shape of it. That's why they call it that, guys. It's a real thing, I promise. Not making it up. Robo finished on the natural. The Observer's going to pop just in time. But will he be positioned to deal with it? Oh, revenge! Hero overextending. But is it worth it? It might be. He loses the Stalker fight. But his Adepts get in and he says, Hey! Hey! I, I, I hear you like playing against the Adept Shade by his... Max Pax must be losing his mind. He's lost like 50 probes this game. Yes, I'm prone to exaggeration. But it's got to feel that way for him, dude. Look at this. Another 10 workers go down. Oh my lord. This damage. 12 workers. 27 workers in total have died. The stalkers are going to hit the third again. And look at this. Two pronged stalker attack. DTs will no doubt be the follow up as well. He's got stalkers on the third. Stalkers coming in from the natural. Max Max has to split his army up. He cannot be F2ing. And he's doing a pretty good job of it so far. Of holding on. Trying to probe back up. The third was so late for Hero. That maybe Max Max can get back into this. DTs are coming in on that right side. Where's the Observer, guys? It's over here. Grabbing the whole army. The Stalkers are like, hey, come over here. Look over here. Look over here. Suspicious behavior. I got to say, suspicious behavior. He pulls back. Does he see the blur? Does he see the blur? Stalkers blinking on the left side, which makes him... No, he sees it now. He blocks. He blocks the main. But he's losing probes on the natural. Stalkers are back in on the third. Hero is forcing him left, right, and center this way and that. You can't be everywhere at once. And Hero right now is utilizing the surprise factor, the mobility factor very well. And oh my god, a DT got in the main. It broke down the pylon because that pylon started too late. It got in the main. Seven workers went down. 12 worker advantage to Hero. This here is a master class of how to play PvP. Stalkers distract, he skirmishes, DT goes in on the right, but it finally gets shut down. That's the first DT that got completely shut down with no damage. Three DTs have gone down. Units lost tab is actually in favor of Max Pax. He's holding on, his supply is even, but he's down 10 probes, and when you're ahead, Hero knows how to take advantage. Drop a fourth, go charge, go mass gateway, and you know Max Pax is going to just be trying to survive on mass stalker, and you can claw your way ahead. But actually, loses two stalkers, loses a third almost here. Oh my lord. 
Got to be careful, mate. Stalkers do find the proxy. They find the Dong Shrine down there as well. Blink DT has started up. Adept's coming in on the third. You're kidding me. The Adept's... How many Adept's is that? Is that like the... I'm going to say 14. 14! Oh my god. I, I mean, I probably subconsciously read the tab earlier when it was on 12, but still. 14 Adept's have gone down. Normally not worth it to sacrifice that many, but when you get 39 probe kills, it absolutely is. There's a cannon on the third. No cannon on the natural. No observer in the base. Oh, Observer's right there, Max Pax. He blinks, but the DT blinks as well. The pylon traps him. He's going to take it down again, though. The Stalker's trying to chase him. Max Pax catches a random probe in the middle of the map. Looks like he caught the DT finally. But I'm telling you, Hero is being a wriggly boy. He's being hard to pin down. Right now, Max Pax is like, just let me hold you down and strangle you to death, please. I have way more Stalkers than you. But that's not going to last. Charge is kicking in. The Robo finally joining here for Hero. Yes, guys. He was completely forgeless, completely roboless. He has had zero detection for the last 10 and a half minutes in this game. If at any point a single Dark Templar went across the map, Max Pax would have 100% won this game. But he somehow missed out on that because Hero has been so slippery, it's been hard for Max Pax to get a read on his strategy. Now there's an Observer here. He might get a few DT kills. Watch out for the Blinky Blink. And he gets them. Nice catches. Max Pax only down 10 supply. He's still down 10 workers. I worry about the Zealots coming in, turning things, but he's got plus one finish, plus two on the way. Max Pax, if he can hold on here and survive and force a game seven, that is going to be a next level legendary play from him. The Stalker's trying to pull back. He's got to blink backwards. The Zealot's coming in. It looks like Hero's going to take the fourth base. A single Stalker counter-attacking. Not going to really be impactful there. And these guys, they focus the Nexus. It's a kill, not a cancel. Max Max not getting the refund and losing that economic play. Here we go. Fully saturated fourth now for Hero. Is up. Chases the Stalker down. He's down in Stalkers, but he's got Zealots there. And Max Max is continuing to max on Stalkers. That's interesting. I really thought he'd add his own Zealots in. The, the more kind of cheap, cost-efficient, high-damage unit. But he says, I'm going to micro my bloody heart out with these Stalkers. And you, Hero, are overextending. I am up in Army Supply. I say that. One round of Zealots warps in and changes it. He's no longer up. Oh, no, Max Pax. Every time he's played this game recently, Max Pax keeps losing this base, guys. The fourth base cannot get up. Game one against Ragnarok. Same map, same situation. He's been having this situation on a cistern where he just cannot keep track of everything on such a big, varied map. And look at this. Hero is still in the driver's seat. He's finally adding a forge. Immortals. But it is plus two versus plus zero and an eight army supply advantage. If Max Pax fights right now, he crushes this army. Problem... Hero's just going to keep backstabbing him. He's not going to let him take a nice, easy front-on fight. He'll fall back to batteries while backstabbing the Zealots. Max Pax sends a few Stalkers around. He's like, okay, I'll pin you back by splitting my units up. Those Zealots are going to cancel the fourth yet again. Hero says, no fourth base for you. And I feel like right now, Hero is the base Nazi. And, and Max Pax is Jerry Seinfeld. And he's done something to piss him off. And he's just not able to get that fourth base. He's like, no fourth base for you, man. He just keeps bloody shouting it. I don't know what's going on. My point is, Hero is playing fantastic StarCraft. And every time Max Pax has an advantage, Hero denies it. He won't let him capitalize on that advantage. Hero blinking forward like a bit of a mad dog there. Trying to focus the observers down. Zealot Archon is coming in. Plus battery overcharge. Hard to push in that for Max Pax. The fourth base cannot get up right now. The fourth base getting denied over and over again. Max Pax is essentially on a giant plus two blink all in. And that's not going to cut it. He's outnumbered on the Zealots. Even with the upgrade advantage, that's closing. Plus one kicks in. Now it's only a single upgrade advantage. He tries to take a fourth in the very top of the map. But just like every single time he's taken a fourth before, Hero says, no fourth base for you, mate. He says, how dare you have insulted the nature of Protoss. You have insulted us. I shall take you down. I'm the best Protoss player in the world. He denies the fourth one more time. Absolutely ridiculous. Hey, leave me alone. That's what I'd be saying too. Trying to go into double robo disruptor. I mean, there's always a chance to hang on and survive. Max Max could come back with disruptor play, even though he's down two bases. But at this point, Hero is just all over him and he's, he's mauling the nerd. Um, I feel like it's a, uh, you know... It's, I could talk about how Max Pax has been efficient in a lot of the fights, but he just can't get his economy up. And even being up 3,000 resources and units lost, is that enough? I don't know. He's going for his own plus three attack. The Zealot's going after the Immortal there. The Immortal's going to go down. The Zealots will try to run away. I mean, denying the fifth is good. At least he's only a one base advantage, but that mineral land is very important, guys. Hero has not been moving his probes. I'm like, how is his fourth 
under saturation right now. His fourth and third are light on saturation and his main and natural are stacked on probes. So Hero has been so focused on the fighting and the movement, he hasn't really been paying attention to his economy. We've seen him do this versus Maru, where it's just try to kill, try to kill, try to kill. And he doesn't really build as big advantages behind it. I still think it's a great position for him. Look at this. This is the distraction army. He's happy to sacrifice a few units because that there is the backstab boys. Oh, good disruptor ambush. Cannon's trying to come up, but they're not here yet. The balls are going to come back. Maybe he can land some big boys on Hero's face. Nice army split so far, but Max Back Stalker army requires a lot more micro than this Zealot Ark on a mortal army. And if he gets the Robos, that is massive. The Robos are alive. The Stalkers are coming back, but oh, Max Back's fourth base. No fourth base for you again. Hero is relentless. I feel like he's just, he's standing on his chest. He's not letting him breathe. Max Max is like, let me get a bloody breath. Give me a goddamn moment to get my economy situated. No, no, no. Loses 16 probes. His robos somehow survive. He does have three disruptors up, but there's double robo coming out and the amount of map control is going to give Hero the giant ambush balls. No. Oh, Hero actually caught out. Watch out. One on the left, one on the left, one on the left. Could land big. Hero actually stumbles in. You gotta be careful there, Hero. The Zealots on the south side denying his base. Disruptor's gonna try and defend himself. Gets a few, but doesn't get that many Zealots. If he can isolate this army, that'll be big. Watch out for the ball in the north. Hero's looking for the ambush, but good defense by Max Pax. He moves south. He's gonna get rid of one of these Robos. Very nicely done. Zealots taking out the fifth, but there's a lot of Zealots in his base, and I don't think his Warpins can deal with it. He's gonna have plus three soon, which will give him a single upgrade advantage, but I don't think even with the battery that'll matter. Here we go. Big fight happening. Oh, good dodge by Hero. The Zealots are gonna get on those Disruptors. The stalker count is good. How the hell is Max Max making this into a competitive game? I do not know. Battery overcharge. Try to save those zealots. Zealots have cleared Hero's load. Hero's lost his entire economy, guys. Hero has lost his entire economy and is down in army supply. His disruptors get focused. Oh, but the stalkers of Hero take out the disruptors of Max Max. And now he's fighting into battery overcharge. He's got to pull away from these zealots. Amazing fight here for Hero. The stalker flank. Pulling back, the probes have been pulled in. Max Vex is still up in army supply, though. His zealots have joined in from Hero's third base. Back at home, he's lost so much mining. But he's actually got a third base, which Hero does not. Max Pax, you absolute psychopath. Yes, he's up on upgrade, but how the hell is he now winning this game? He has a mining third. Hero does not. Hero has a couple mineral patches on his natural, and that is it. Hero does not have money to rebuild a Nexus, and he can't even kill the natural. Those zealots go down. He's going to warp in some DTs which is probably the best thing. Maybe maybe kill the, 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 the Nexus on the natural and maybe get the cannon, but 2DT is not enough to do that. And I can't believe it. Max Pax. I told you guys this was going to be a seven game series after that first game. I told you. I am so sorry, Warty, for ruining your schedule today. I really am. But this is disgustingly awesome PvP. I thought this was either going to be a 22 minute best of seven or an hour plus best of seven it looks like we're going well beyond the hour mark at this point uh because this looks like max max should be able to win from here he loses the nexus hero does get it stalker zealot still poking in if you don't have a nexus and he does that's gonna be huge the stalkers blinking surround hero stalkers on that blink cooldown punishing him for moving so far forward there's still an observer on the map. I don't think it's here, so the DTs will push him back. He's going to blink forward and take out those stalkers, but... Oh, the DT is doing good damage, but his observer comes in, kills two of the DTs. Only one of them blinks back to safety, and Max Pax punches his way out of the grave. And once again, he says... Get uh, wrecked, nerd. Get wrecked, nerd. Holy crap, he's forcing game seven. All right, guys, we're going to game seven. I cannot believe Hero wasn't able to finish that game. He did so well, so abusive, so good with the multi-prong, but Hero finds himself forced to a game seven. He's saying, go, 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 because he knows he has another tournament to play. But more importantly, because he's in a best of seven, game seven against the Danish Wunderkind, the Prince of Denmark. Like I said, Alpha Star King version. Multiple Alpha Stars with their tails entwined unable to get away from each other yet learning to work together and fight stronger than any individual human could ever be uh this is actually just a one gate expand by the looks of it again but with the high ground gateway for max packs and the map is neo humanity hero is going for a no scout build hero is like i don't need to scout because i have an idea of exactly what i'm doing no matter what he wouldn't just three gate robo in the final game would he he wouldn't just four gate i know four gate can work i think Last season, in, I think it was the Atlanta Regionals. I think it was Goblin just straight up four-gated Max Pax and killed him. And sometimes that catches uh, catches someone off guard. So 
We'll see what happens. Two Stalkers to start versus a Nexus into Stargate. The Zealot did get cancelled. Max Bax goes for a Stalker now. And uh, can you actually power a battery down here, guys? Oh god, you can't power a battery down here off that. I don't think you can. So I think he needs that pylon to come up before he can start a shield battery. Could be an issue. Max Bax scouring the map for proxies right now. Hero chasing him with this probe. And he's going for his own Stargate into Adept. Similar build to what we saw on, I believe, Royal Blood. Okay. Oh my god, this is so exciting. Um, people often used to hate Zerg versus Zerg. They said it's a snooze fest, guys. Guess what? Serral Rainer changed a lot of people's minds. Well, I really feel like Hero and Max Bax can absolutely... Um... I think he absolutely can, uh, can, 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 you know, Hero and Max Bax are changing my minds on this, is what I'm getting at. It's, I've been casting this series for, like, a long time. My brain's starting to melt a little bit, but, uh, nice wall off. He's gonna lose two probes, though. Oh, Max Bax! Oh! The Stalker is almost dead, and guys, this is what I was talking about, not being able to start the shield battery. I don't know if Max Bax has ever played this map. You can't veto a map in a best of seven. This might be his first time playing an actual competitive PvP on this map. I mean, he can fight back those Stalkers, but he has to use his Oracle energy for it. Second Oracle is on the way. There is a Nexus building. Adept is going to shade forward. Good wall off. And actually, a bit of Miss Micro from Hero. Ooh, he takes a, a, a fair bit of a beating on the Adept. The Oracle's out there. Another Oracle will be out soon. Building his own Oracles is Hero. He's got one Stalker and a Shield battery on the way. Think he should be okay. Can his Oracle do damage? I think so. There is a battery, but you can still turn the laser on. And you get two damage a shot. Ten Oracle shots will still kill a probe, even with the battery healing it. Oracle is out here. The second one. Oracle goes in for Max Bax as well, though. Oh, the battery wasn't ready. He actually got there in time. I didn't think he would. And you know what? Hero didn't focus fire because he was busy defending. The Adept gets in. Three probes do go down. The Oracle didn't get them. The Adept ended up getting them with the Stalkers as well. Max Bax warping in his own Stalker here. He's going to try and defend. But it looks like he's come out way on top. Hero is only on 19 workers. Are you kidding me? Only 19. Okay, these oracles. These oracles are the answer. He needs damage and he needs it now. Oracles get one, two, three. Can they get a fourth? Four workers and get out would be good, but there's a phoenix on it, which means there's no way out. There's only one way home, and that's in a casket. These oracles need to recall. Maybe the healthy one to save it. The phoenix. Oh, does take out one of them. One oracle will recall. Five stalkers on the front. Seven stalkers coming across this map. But actually, it's only, only five on the front. He gets one. He gets a kill. He gets a kill. Battery overcharge comes in, but getting a stalker kill is big. That takes it from seven, seven to four. Double Oracle, though, is still there for Max Pax. Max Pax is up nine probes. He needs more damage, or he wants more damage. He doesn't really need it. He's already way ahead, and he gets four, five probes. I thought he was out of energy, and he basically runs out of energy now a few seconds later, but five more probes. Oh, my God. This chaotic early game. Oracle's flying in, but Max Max is managing to defend. We call him the, the one gate expand god for a reason. He's so good at just defending in these chaotic situations. We used to think one gate expand was not viable because it could just die to too many all ends. And then Max Max did it 4,000 tournament games in a row. Yeah, I'm exaggerating, but not by as much as you think. And even when players knew he was doing it and would all in and try every different all in, he had such a high win percentage that players got disincentivized and he changed the meta. Max Max was responsible for that. And you can see why here, because this is a very dynamic opening into an expand, but he counterattacks with oracles, with adepts, while defending at the same time. And that is what makes this so nasty for Hero here, who played such a good previous game, but he just couldn't quite finish it off. Max Pax played some of the best survivor craft I've ever seen. He hung on so well in that last game. And this game, it's been a bit of an Oracle's blitzing in and blasting things with lasers. And he's just kind of, you know, got, got the better end of the trades. Uh, but the previous game is what was so impressive to me. He's so far ahead now. I think he can win this game. There's a DT Shrine coming in. It's the Hail Mary DT Shrine. But Hero knows he can't defend. And oh man, Max Pax with a crazy comeback. Gets the 4-3 victory. Holy crud. GG. Well played. Max Pax. Oh my god. What do you have to say for yourself? Lock up your wives. Lock up your daughters. Protoss is coming. You bloody well know they are. GG. Well played, mate.